we are to my Galia. <laughs> Hi. I know. You click on this video and waited for maybe for something like <laughs> Stay strong. You're not fucking weak. Mm -hmm. This video will send us back in 20 years. What happened in my life 20 years ago? <laughs> 24 years ago I was born. <laughs> Thank you. To my father and my mother. But what mother I had? I mean, I still have, but I don't know where is she, who is she, uh, is she still alive? Hmm, who knows? Because when I was four years old, I also have a sister. She was at the time six. She's two years older than me. We experienced something I don't want this world to experience. Me and my sister were sexually abused by our mother. This is not funny. This is not a joke. This is what happening in our lives. And statistics say that every fourth girl and every sixth guy, boy, is sexually abused in childhood. Can you imagine, kids? Millions. When I saw statistics in UK, in United States, millions of kids are sexually abused every year. Millions. Just imagine, in your country, every fourth kid you see will be, or already, was sexually abused. And who abused them? Not someone they don't know, not just someone from outside. It's a person that you know, your parents know, your brothers, sisters, cousins, and so on. What happened in our situation? Our mother, the closest person, when I was four and my sister six, she told us to touch her, to touch each other. She showed us where we need to touch and what we need to touch. At that time, my father went to UK to earn money because we were kids and it was hard time to find a job. So he just went to UK where I live now and she just didn't care about us. Me and my sister spend time in a small, very small storage room where you can just put your boots, your jackets and some boxes. All I remember is that dark room. She was giving us raw potatoes. This is what we were eating. This is how we were treated. She was doing not only this. She was having fun. She was not opening doors to our grandfather, our grandmother. And I feel bad for my sister because at six years you at least remember things. I don't know is it good or bad, but my consciousness decided to erase bad memories and I just don't remember a lot. Most of this information told my sister when I was around 13, 14 and yes, our father came in a year when things went too much and our grandparents started to call to my father and say come back, something is wrong here, men's come to your house we can hear how your kids scream, but she's not opening the door. Come back. So he came 
And after that moment I saw my mother only once, when I was about eight, and I just felt a lot of hate to that person. There is that phrase that you have to forgive people. You have to love your family. And I love my father. Everyone told him that you are a golden parent. You are that unique father that, that stayed with kids and helped them to grow. I love my father so much. He still is helping me and my sister, even if we are older already, but there is still that support. And he alone was taking care of us from that moment when he told her to leave. Something happened in that moment with her. And last year, when I was again thinking about this situation, I, because I practiced magic, I decided to find out using tarot cards why? Why she did this? What happened with her? The answer is... It was some type of inspiration for her. Sexually abusing her kids was inspirational. It gave her new breath. It just happened. It happened with me. I was not able to say something. Because it's the person that you trust, it's your parent, it's your mother. So if she says something to do, you will do it. Because it's the closest person, your parents. Then we were destroyed. My communication, my trust, my relationships with people, my sexual life was destroyed just because of a person that gave you life. <laughs> Before I was saying a lot that this life is a gift, it's a present to be here, you know, but nobody said that that gift is good. We just got it, but is it good or is it bad? We will see. So I was just a creep. Yeah, I'm a creep. I'm a widow. What the hell I'm doing here? I don't belong here. You know I fucking belong here. And you, you belong here things that happened with us just happened when we are kids we are not able to tell no to a big person they are our gods they cook for us they do everything for us our goddess our protection but I'm not alone Millions of kids experienced similar situations. And it's not okay. It's not. That's why I'm talking about it. And I'm going to talk about it. Because it's something we have to change. We have to change it. I don't want to say it, but this is what's happening. If we will continue to fuck our kids, what will happen with humans, with humanity? People just want sex. So when they don't have it, they start to abuse everything. And do you know why? 
restrictions, religions. You can't have sex until certain age. It's a sin. You better shut up. And let's just skip that movie where they start to kiss. And kids ask what it means. Oh, I just saw a picture and I saw like naked people. <laughs> and just parents, shut the fuck up. You are very young for this. No, it's so bad. And then kids start to get interested. Like, oh, it's something secret, so I want to know. And then we're sexually destroyed. We have sex at age 11, 12, 13, 14, like by our choice. Just because our parents, not just parents, but society told us it's so bad. What do we want to? We just want to find out. If they don't tell us, we will find out by ourselves. This is the problem. We have to talk about it. Because if we will not talk about sex, sex will destroy us. Come on, it's just sex. Why you don't tell her? If I will tell her she will get pregnant at age of 12 and, you know, it's so, so young age, fuck. She will if you will not tell her. It's all about how you translate the information, about knowledge, learning. We just need to tell to a kid. This is how it works. This is why it's happening. Oh, this is the connection between people. If you will just tell it. It's, it's easy, it's so easy just to tell the information. Just a small talk, just conversation with a person. And then I just started to live in a fear. I stopped to trust people. I started to have fear of older people. I was going red. I was so in stress and panicked. So I was hiding when I was walking with my father and we sometimes were stopped by his friends. And you know those situations when you were a kid they tell you, oh, you grow so fast, you're so big boy, so beautiful girl, look at that dress, look at that, I don't know, look at you, how cool you look. I was just hiding. I was in panic, and I didn't know why. I just realized it in 20 years now. I feared of older people, because I stopped to trust my mother. She was abusing me. And every contact with someone who is older was a trigger for me. That what if that person, what if that man or woman will do bad things with me? So my father was the only person I trusted. So that's why I was hiding and he was talking. He was my protection. Then I went to school. I was bullied every day. <laughs> because look at me. I mean, try now. Try now. Fucking warrior. In school, I was bullied by people who were not older but my age or younger so i stopped to trust even them can you imagine i trust nobody in this world then after art school when i finished it i moved here in england <laughs> I started to work, I started to be depressed. A moment of suicide. 
nobody supported me and imagine I was sexually abused I'm bullied I think I'm gay and just people hate me <gasps> for everything for just my existence is a struggle is a mistake as they were telling me so I moved here I'm suicidal at age of 20 somehow I lived in a situation where I thought is 100% death and I was thinking why I didn't die in that situation <laughs> someone saved me do I have a purpose who stopped and changed that horrible situation of me trying to end my life this is how I started to practice magic okay I think it's a very long video already so we have to stop we are going to make a change are you with me people should not be inspired by abuse but by surroundings by nature by the stars by the sun the moon by happiness by traveling by love and not hate destruction mental illness someone's suffer and sickness i'll see you on my next video we still have a lot to talk about all my love to you bye